So how do you know if you can afford to buy a house? Are there, are there signs or are there things that will point to the fact that you're ready to buy a house? Well, that's what I'll be discussing in this video, in the, walking you through the signs or the things to tick off your checklist to be sure that you're ready to buy a house. So I hope you get value from this video. And also I have linked a checklist. It is free, a free checklist for you to download and just like go through and, you know, tick, tick them off to be sure you're ready to buy a house before you proceed to do that. So without further hesitation, Let's get right into this video. Now the very first telltale sign to show that you're ready to buy a house is that you have a good credit score. Okay, so in the UK, there are three credit reference agencies. There's, there's TransUnion, Experian, and Equifax. So these are the three places that can give you a credit score. And each of them have like slight differences on what is considered a good credit score and a bad credit score. You want to ensure that your credit score is in the green, meaning it is good. So prior to buying a house, you need to have built your credit score in the UK. I already detailed, shared some examples of how to build your credit score in a previous video of mine, which I'm going to link up here. But then there are things you you can do to build your credit score to ensure that your credit score is solid and it is decent before you start the process. Now, the second sign to know that you're ready to buy a house is that you have an emergency fund. I also call this looking out for me fund. This is basically rainy day funds, money for things that unforeseen circumstances that will come up. You need to have that first before you even think about buying a house and an emergency fund. You need to have three to six months of your living expenses. So if you don't know what that means, it's looking at your month to month expenses. How much do you spend on a month to month for on a month to month for rent, feeding, transport, hair, everything you do. If it's like £1,500 a month, you need to have times three of that or times six of that saved up in a fund before you even start thinking about buying a house. The reason is because buying a house is also you taking out a very huge loan. It's a huge debt and you want to ensure that if anything happens to your circumstances, maybe for example, you're laid off from work or you had a complication with something, maybe an accident, you know, whatever, you have savings somewhere that you can use to pay off your mortgage repayments. So it's very important that you have an emergency fund set up before you even consider taking out a mortgage or buying a house. And hand in hand with this emergency fund is also ensuring that the deposit you're saving for, you're not going to take out of it from your emergency fund. So apart from your deposit, like that deposit you want to put down for the house, you need to have like emergency fund separate and it should not like, it should not mix up. It should have that separate and have your emergency fund and you're not dipping out of the emergency fund to make the deposit. The next sign that you're ready to buy a house is that you know what you want. And this means, first of all, you know the average price of houses in the area that you're looking to settle into. You know the type of house you want. Do you want a detached home? Do you want a terraced home? How many bedrooms do you want? Do you want an apartment or do you want a house? You already know all of these things and you know the average price of houses in the area you're looking out for. The third thing is affordability check. You've already done some afford affordability check online using some free tools. I would link below some affordability calculators mortgage affordability calculators in the um, description so you can check like do you even qualify to buy the price of house that you want these calculators will give you like a rough idea so you already know all of these things you know what you want and you know what you can afford Another thing to know is that generally with mortgages, you're usually giving like, um, the banks can loan you like three times your salary, usually better when you're buying this house, like as a couple or, or with someone else, because it will not become your combined income times three. So what that means is if your salary is 40,000 pounds a year, you should know that the bank can probably loan you three times 40, you know, which is about 120,000 pounds, which is not actually like close to the price of houses currently. And this three times does not mean that that it there are some um, banks or mortgage lenders that can give you up to four times or 4.5 times your salary but once again these affordability checkers these affordability calculators would help you so make sure to check them out next sign that you're ready to buy a house is that you can afford at least five percent of the deposit now there are some developers that do a zero percent deposit scheme which honestly is good because like it will help people get on the property ladder. However, when you're going in with a 0% deposit, you're going to have a high interest rate, meaning that 
interest on the money you borrow from the bank is going to be very high because you are a high risk um, investment from the bank's point of view so it's good to have at least five percent deposit so you own some equity in the home as opposed to just starting off with nothing I mean if you can get that money higher the higher it is the better the interest rate you get so if you're able to get it to like like maybe 10 percent 15 percent 20 percent that's fantastic right but at least if you have at least 5% of the deposit, then it's a sign that you're probably ready to buy a house. Next telltale sign that you might be ready to buy a house is that after you pay for the deposit, you're still going to have cash saved. And this cash is not the emergency fund that I, took, I spoke about earlier. It's like you still have savings. So when you pay the deposit for the house, whatever amount you're trying to save for, if it's 10%, 15% or 5%, when you pay that, will you still have cash left because there are still other things you're going to have to pay for there's solicitor fees which comes up to like two thousand pounds right there's moving fees you're going to pack things from your previous house to your current house there's furnishing fees like there's so many other costs i have a video where i talk about the real and hidden cost of buying a house i'm going to link it up here so you want to ensure that apart from the deposit once you pay that you're still going to have cash left that you can use to cater for the house and also every other like thing associated with buying in the house next sign that you're ready to buy a house is that you won't be spending more than 30 percent of your gross income on mortgage or house outgoings so a good idea is to ensure that your mortgage repayments your house insurance anything that has to do with the house does not take more than 30 percent of your gross salary gross means before tax not after so before tax the truth is this is not always attainable but it's a good thing to just have that at the back of your mind when you're trying to like um do some uh, projections of how you're going to spend money you need to try and ensure it's close to 30 percent most people spend more than 30 percent you know but the, the, the closer it is the 30 percent the, the more likely it is that your lifestyle is not going to be impacted by this new expense that you're taking on another very important sign to know if you're ready to buy a house is your debt to income ratio how much debt are you in so like if you have high interest debt how many of that do you have and do you need to clear those off first or at least some of them first before you take on another huge debt like a mortgage like you need to ensure that you're not drowning in debt and that like you have manage manageable debt are you in control of the debts that you have like ensure that you clear out your high interest debts as much as you can before you take on something as as big as a mortgage because a mortgage is also another debt that you're going to be owing and then also I think even when you're trying to buy a house because they're going to do like a very like in-depth search on your finances the lenders are also going to consider your debt to income ratio so if they notice that you're in so much debt because they're also going to look at all your outgoings from your accounts monthly so if they see that you're in a lot of debt they might actually like have cold feet with regards giving you a mortgage because they're also concerned will this person be able to pay back this mortgage monthly if we give them this money so you need to ensure that your debt to income ratio is actually very low the next sign to know that you're ready to buy a house is that you have a steady income i mean this one should be obvious you should have a steady income before you decide to buy a house because you're going to be owing the bank and you need to be paying them regularly and that's why when you're trying to take a mortgage they usually like to use your income as a basis for how much they can lend to you so you need to be stable or have a steady source of income before you even consider buying a house another sign to know that you're ready to buy a house you're not planning to move in the next two to five years so because whatever property you buy if you want it to appreciate in value it takes time okay so you need to give it time and that time means staying there for like five years or even ten years before you see like your property appreciate in value if you're sure you're not planning to move and you're ready to be tied down to a particular location then you might be ready to buy a house another sign that you might be ready to buy a house is lifestyle changes so maybe you're getting married, you're living in a studio apartment, now you want a bigger space, or maybe you're having children, or you have children currently and the space you're staying in is small, or maybe you just want a new house, you just want a bigger space for yourself, or you want a new environment. These are also valid reasons or valid signs. I could be pointing to the fact that you're ready to buy a house and make that like huge commitment.
And then the last but not the least is that you know the real cost and also the hidden cost of buying a house and you're prepared for it. So for example, you have an idea of what the monthly repayments could look like and you are able to afford it. And also something to consider with affordability is if the interest rate increases. So if the current interest rate you're looking at for mortgages is like, let's say 5%, what happens if the interest rate goes up to like 6%? Would you still be able to afford paying that mortgage? Would you be able Able to afford it so you need to consider your affordability and also consider if the interest rate goes up can you afford to pay it back another thing is like for example if you're pregnant now and you're taking out a mortgage when the child comes into the picture you ha might have to now have a new expense like child care how is that going to impact your monthly income your earnings like how are you going to manage that and also manage paying a mortgage so it's not just looking at the mortgage on the surface level it's also thinking about all the things that might come into play and if you can truly continue to afford or be able to afford the mortgage repayments monthly also another like cost to also factor in is not just the monthly repayment you also have stuff like house insurance that will come into play you might also take out content insurance you might take out life insurance at this point you know to cover your mortgage so these are the things to consider and be sure that you can like you, you can afford these things in your projection before you even consider buying the house. Okay, so I hope this helps. Let me know if you found value in this video. And don't forget, there's a free checklist for you to download in the description box below. If you have any comments or questions regarding buying a house, do leave it down in the comment section below and I'll be happy to answer them. And if there's any that needs me to make a video on, I will make a video. Till next time, thank you so much for watching. Bye, guys.